Today, we are going to have a look at how we can use semantic search to intelligently search GIFs. And I think the best way for me to explain what I mean by that is to simply show you what I mean by that. So here we have a very simple streamlit uh, front end for our, for our search pipeline. And I'm going to search for dogs talking on the phone. Now, this is a natural language query. I'm not, I am, there is some dependence on keywords here, or, or there will be some keywords that are shared. You know, we have dogs, uh, phone, but because we're using semantic search, we can try and avoid using these keywords. So if we go for something that has the same meaning, but just doesn't include the word dog. So four legged mammal. We'll see that we actually still return this one here. We've lost the, uh, we've lost this one. It's a little further back now, but four legged mammal talking on the phone still works pretty, pretty well. Now that's pretty cool. But what I want to really do here is show you how you can do this. And uh, in particular, okay, this is GIF search. It's not maybe, maybe it is actually pretty useful, particularly when you are searching for GIFs to use on social media and, and, and so on. But I think the real power for the, of this is its potential. We can use the same pipeline to do a lot more than just GIF search. We can adapt it super easily to financial documents, uh, image search, video search, and a lot more. So let's just have a quick high level view of what this pipeline actually looks like. So we start with our query at the top. So dogs on the phone or dogs talking on the phone. Okay, that is our query. It's gonna come down here and it's going to go into what we call a retriever model. A retriever model um, is basically a transformer model. Uh, let me call it call retriever or retrieve. Yeah, it's a transform model that's been specially trained to output meaningful vector representations of that text. So from here, we're going to get this big long vector. It's you know, plenty of numbers in there. I think the what the retriever we use is going to output a dimensionality of I think 374 if I'm not wrong or something along those lines. Uh, but that's actually a very small uh, vector. Usually they, they are much larger. So we get that vector embedding and it's going to go into a vector database. Now, the vector database for us is going to be Pinecone. And in Pinecone, we have all of these, um, we have, so the GIF you just saw, each one of those has a little description. Okay, so the one you saw before might say, I think it says something like vintage dogs talking on the phone or something along those lines. And we take that description, we pass it through the retriever model. So the same retriever model we've used here and store it as a vector embedding inside Pinecone. Now this has been done for hundreds of thousands of, of GIFs and their descriptions. So then what we do is we look inside Pinecone. So we have all of these different, um, GIF descriptions and what we do, I'm going to use a different color here, we introduce our query. So this is actually, um, this is this vector here. And we say, okay, which of these other items are the closest to our query? And maybe we say, okay, it's these two here. So what we would do is re return those over here and we don't really care about the vectors themselves, but we care about the metadata that's been attached to those vectors. So in that metadata, we are going to have the URL. Okay, so the URL where we can find uh, that GIF image or the GIF file. So 
that's included in here. Okay, so that, that comes along with us. And we use that to display the GIF on our screen. So that's what you saw before. We just have some HTML. It's a just like an image tag. And we just have the URL in there. Okay, and we display them. And that's what we are going to build. So let's take a look at how, how we can do that. Now you will be able to find all of this code in a link in the video description, or if you're watching this on the article, it will be at the bottom of the article. So with that in mind, I'm not going to go really in depth on the code, I'm just gonna kind of go through it quite quickly uh, and just give you an idea of what we're actually doing. So the first thing we would need to do is install any of these libraries if we don't have them installed already. So we have our connection to Pinecone here. We have Sentence Transformers, which is our retriever model. Uh, TQDM is just a progress bar. And Pandas is just Pandas data frames. Now here, not really that important uh, if you're building a app, but if you're doing this in the notebook, you will want this because this will allow us to display HTML within our Jupyter notebook, which is obviously important if we want to see what GIFs we are returning. Um, and then, we obviously need a data set. So we have this data set here. And if we go down, we see it's a Tumblr GIF data set. Uh, 100,000 animated GIFs and 120 sentences describing those GIFs. Now, what that means, so there's a bit of an imbalance there. Uh, that means that there are multiple, in some cases, not all, there are multiple descriptions for a single GIF. And we can go down here and we can we can have a look at that in a moment. Uh, but this is the data set structure. We have the URL and then we have a description. And we'll print these out in a moment. So let me show you those first. So we come down here and this is an example, right? So we have this image, which is, is from the URL. So I've pulled that in from the URL. See here, we have the image tag, just plugging that in. And then we have the description. Description, it pretty accurately describes what is happening in the, in the GIF, okay? Now, we have those duplicates or duplicate descriptions. Let's have a quick look at those as well. So these are a few of those duplicates. And we can see that they are all the same GIF as expected. And they just have different descriptions, but the descriptions are all pretty accurate. They're not, you know, they don't not describe the GIF. So in this case, keeping these duplicates makes sense because we just simply have multiple descriptions that are going to point to the same GIF. All of those descriptions are accurate, so it's not really an issue. So we have our data set. Now let's just have a quick look at our, our graph here. So the first thing we need to do here is initialize our retriever model and our vector database. And as you can see on the left here, we are going to be indexing our data using our retriever and vector database before we begin querying anything. Basically, we're just going to be taking all that data, putting it into our vector database. So the first thing I'm going to do here is initialize the retriever model which is here, and I'm going to initialize this sentence transform model. If you don't know anything about sentence transformers, there's a lot of videos on my YouTube channel and a lot of articles on Pinecone that cover these in a lot of detail. So I'd recommend um, having a look at those because they are really interesting. Now, one important thing here to note is that our model is going to be outputting vectors with dimensionality 384. Okay, I think earlier I said 374, it's 384. That's important, we need to know that when we're initializing our vector database, which we can do like this. So we import Pinecone. For the API key here, you do need to go to app.pinecone.io to get a free API key. And you just put it in here. And then with that, we can initialize our connections, Pinecone. 
then we all we need to do is pass an index name. So index name can be anything you want. Uh, just make sure it makes sense. So for me, this is a GIF search index. So I am going to create that index with a dimension I2384. Okay, so that's what we got from the retriever model earlier. The metric is also important. This should align to what the sentence transform or retriever model has been fine-tuned uh, to work with. And then we connect to the index we've just created. Okay, so once we've done that, we move on to actually indexing. Okay, so we've initialized the vector database, initialize the retriever. Now we use the retriever model to create our embeddings or the vectors uh, that represent all of our GIF descriptions. And then we insert all those into Pinecone. So we do that in this loop. Uh, it's pretty simple. We do it in batches of 64. Uh, here I'm extracting a batch from the date frame that we have. I generate embeddings for that batch. We retrieve the metadata for that batch. Uh, so the metadata is going to be in a format. Uh, do I have something here? Maybe I don't. So the metadata will be in the format. It's like description, uh, description, and then we have a description of what is happening in there. And then also the URL, and that will go to the URL, right? Pretty simple. That's our metadata. And we have one of those for each like record or item. And then we create our IDs. So the IDs need to be unique. There needs to be strings. And that's what we're doing here. Okay, so we're just going through. The IDs are simple, 0, 1, 2, 3, but obviously as a string. And then we put all that together. Okay, and we insert these two pine cones. So we do that in batches of 64. And then at the end here, I'm just checking that we have all the vectors in the index. Uh, which we do have 125,000 or just over. Okay, cool. And we can also see the index fullness. So we can go up to about a million vectors on the free tier of Pinecone. So here you can see we have plenty of space left, which is obviously pretty useful. So with that, uh, we can move on to the right of our chart here, uh, which is the querying step. So querying is what we're going to do all the time. So the indexing we do once, uh, unless we're sort of adding more data and then we might do it again. But otherwise, querying is the main task of our pipeline. Every time a user makes a query, searches something, we're going to be going through this pipeline. So to do that, again, it's pretty much the same as before. Query goes through to our retriever model. That creates what we call a query vector. We pass that to Pinecone, and then we search for the most similar already indexed GIF description vectors or context vectors. And then from there, we return the most similar ones, okay? And we, within those uh, records from Pinecone, we also include the metadata. And that includes the URL to the original GIF. So then we can just use some simple HTML to display those GIFs to the user. And let's have a look at how we actually do that in code. So I split into two steps. There's a search section or, or part, uh, which is searching, encoding our query, and also uh, searching for the most relevant uh, context vectors and that's what we're doing here. So we encode with our retriever, we query, and we are going to return the top 10 most similar uh, context there. And yeah, we just append that to this uh, list here. Okay. You can see here, we're getting the metadata out as well. It's also important. So here, include metadata needs to be true. Otherwise we're not going to be turning any metadata and we can't extract those URLs. Okay, and I'm just putting that in a search GIF function there. And then we have this display GIFs. So all this is, is the really simple HTML that we are uh, displaying. So we just have these um, 
div elements. Inside of here, we have a figure and our image with the URL source that we have. Okay. And then to do that, or to perform our search, we just do search GIF, dog being confused in this case, and we display them, okay? And we can see that we're getting all of these GIFs where a dog is, is confused, which is, I think, pretty cool. Um, and we have loads of examples here. I just went through a load of them to see what we get. Um, and yeah, of oh, this one, quite specific. You can get really specific with this as well. So uh, fluffy dog being cute and dancing like a person. And then we get this one uh, up at the top here. So yeah, I think that is pretty cool. Now, if we want to replicate the sort of app, the streaming app that you saw before, uh, you can do one. If you just want to test it, you can. But to create this app, it's super simple. Obviously we're using Streamlit. And this is all we do. I'm gonna zoom out a bit so it, might be kind of hard to read on your screen, but it's, I want to kind of show you the whole code. And again, you can just download this anyway, uh, so it shouldn't really be an issue. This code is slightly outdated actually, so this model here is not using the MPNet model anymore, it's actually using the Mini LM model. No, it's just a smaller model. And yeah, all we do, we initialize Pinecone, initialize our retriever like we did in those notebooks. Uh, we have our HTML here, exactly the same as in the notebooks again. And then we just write our, our app. So we have AI powered GIF search. Um, what are you looking for? So it's a text input. That passes into query. Whenever query is not empty, we will begin the search. Okay, so we encode as we did before the query to create our query vector. We retrieve the most similar context and then we extract the URL metadata from those and then we display them. And that's literally, it's super simple and we get this really cool GIF search app from that. So that's it for this video. I hope this has been interesting. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you again in the next one. Bye.